To celebrate the next generation Titan, we're taking you behind the scenes with our Nissan Titan truckumentary. This project provides a look at some of the milestones in Titan's development. It introduces the team working on this great truck and brings to life Nissan's larger truck heritage, which goes back more than 55 years here in the US. This is a story of the Titan's evolution and also of Nissan's place as a true truck maker. We hope you enjoy watching it just as much as we have enjoyed bringing this new truck to market. I grew up on a small farm. My grandfather had cattle, raised cattle. I grew up in Thompson Station. My family's actually uh, been there for eight generations. For me, um, it was a very different place back then. It was a small town. Franklin wasn't as, like it is today with the Nissan headquarters there. Back 20 years ago, there was nothing there but farm cow fields. Smyrna is the quintessential rural area. I mean, it was a small town. There was nothing there. The first vehicles to be produced in this country by Japan's Nissan Motor Company are scheduled to roll off the assembly line next week in Smyrna, Tennessee. Nissan coming and bringing that manufacturing facility meant everything to those people. It presented jobs, and, uh, it lifted the economy, um, so it was a complete change. We're here at the Lane Motor Museum looking at the history of Nissan trucks. This is a fantastic area that provides us a glimpse back into Nissan's truck heritage in the United States. For me, that, the Job 1 vehicle rolled off the line when I was actually about two months old, back in 1983. When people think about Nissan's heritage, they think about great iconic cars like the 240Z. But honestly, Nissan's start was made with pickup trucks. When Nissan began business in the US under the Datsun name, one of the first vehicles sold was this beauty here uh, with a one liter engine and 37 horsepower. Very humble beginnings, but a very capable truck that really set the stage for everything to come. Without a doubt, the old patrols provided unmatched durability. They were more powerful than anything else in the segment. They had an inline six uh, that no one else could match. It didn't matter whether it was a Jeep, a Bronco, a Scout, nobody could touch it. Uh, and then off-road ability that was off the charts. Those little trucks ran and ran and ran and you, they would go in any direction you pointed them. We have racing routes going to the Baja 1000 or Dakar Rally or even to the Bonneville Salt Flats. So we have some extreme uses, but then those trucks are same, same trucks are still very capable for the customers going to the campsite, to the job site or wherever else. If we at Nissan have done anything right, that is we have, we're constantly a leader in design. Sometimes that means you have very futuristic looking trucks. Um, I've not spent a lot of time around the Gobi, but uh, it's an interesting take on, on or what a truck can be. The SUT concept was about having space that's flexible. So really innovating and, and finding new areas for utility and function. Even things like the bedside storage that Nissan innovated with the Titan, you can see those beginnings in something like the SUT concept truck. Everybody that I've come across that has an experience with Nissan trucks has an old hard body story. I have customers come up to me to this day that talk about my uncle, my dad, my brother, uh, my best friend, had an old hard body and it had 200, 300, 400,000 miles and gosh, we couldn't break it. That's the beauty of those old trucks, the durability. The fact that a customer could run those for years and years and years and have problem-free uh, ownership was really a key story for those old hard body pickup trucks. All those customer experiences and all those customer stories, we take those back and we take them to heart because that provides the foundation for the Nissan brand on our, in our trucks. And we try to make sure that that DNA is there for the next generation Titan. I've had trucks all my life, so I know very well how abusive truck customers can be, but then also how demanding they are of their trucks. So it doesn't matter whether it's you know, cargo or uh, towing or however else they use the trucks. I understand it very clearly because if you can't have fun with a truck, you're not doing it right, in my opinion. 